All right, guys. So I think we are extremely overdue for a brand new Ultra or LF games original character. And I think we might be getting one for part 3's Ultra or the LF after that. Now, we did just get the free to play, you know, giblet, which could be signaling, of course, the next, you know, LF character or Ultra character in terms of tags, uh, because that's exactly how Dragon Ball Legends functions. They release a free to play character and 99% of the time we usually get a corresponding tag or big LF character, you know, corresponding to that tag. So, you know, the biggest question I have that keeps me up at night and I, I'm super curious about this question. If I, had to, if I had the opportunity to ask Toshi one question, it would be this. How far can they go with games original characters in terms of creativity? Can they just make up new characters, more new characters, kind of like Shallot, Giblet, or Zaha? Like, just make up more new ones. Can they perhaps maybe get current existing characters and give them brand new transformations? For example, this is wacky, but this is just an example, a uh, Super Saiyan 4 Trunks, right? They just take brand new, I mean, just take current existing characters and give them brand new, you know, uh, you know transformations. So that's one, okay? Another scenario here is makeup scenarios, new scenarios, kind of like Goku and Bardock, just taking two characters and matching up, uh, matching them up together, right? You know, a prime example of this, which I think is very realistic, is perhaps maybe a uh, you know Cooler and Frieza. You know, this is not out of the realm of possibilities. It's because because you know Goku and Bardock showed us that this is possible, right? So what is possible, right? Maybe more what if scenarios. What if Vegeta? you know, goes Super Saiyan Enamic. This is another possibility, right? So this question is keeping me up at night and only time will tell, right? Can they just go crazy like the Dragon Ball Heroes route and just give us, for example, a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito? Can they go this route? Like I said, only time will tell. And I think, I think, you know, it, it all depends. It all depends because there's a lot of copyright stuff, right? For example, like this, we can't get Dragon Ball Hero stuff. So technically speaking, we can't get a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito unless it's maybe like a way they do it only Dragon Ball Legends does for a game's original because it's catered towards Dragon Ball Legends. That's why they call it games original, original to Dragon Ball Legends. So only things that are catered towards Dragon Ball Legends, right? So I do think that we will be getting a game's original character perhaps this month. If you guys didn't know right here on the Ultra on the 10th, we're going to be getting our, our, you know, our ultra right on the 10th. And then here following on the 24th, there's a very good chance we could be getting an LF character because the exact same thing happened last year for part three. We got our part three the exact same time here around the 10th uh, or the same week as the 10th. And then two weeks later, we got the LF self-destruct purple cell. So I think, you know, we just got our free to play unit, which is giblet. I think this character is definitely probably hinting a game's original character. Like I said, it could be for part three. You know, GT is, the, the, of course, the uh, leading candidate right now for part three. It could be a game's original GT character for all we know, right? It could be something around those lines. Like, we don't know yet, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's talk about some possible scenarios here, guys. So, this is a, a very possible one here that I don't think it's too crazy, right? Like, this is crazy. This is crazy, right? Which, by the way, how badass does this look? This is not too crazy because this is kind of like a Goku and Bardock scenario, right? We got, of course, future Gohan and Sword Hope Trunks. It's just kind of like a time thing where they uh, meet up because of like some time patrol stuff or something like that. Just make up a story to existing characters like Goku and Bardock, but just teaming them up together, right? This is not out of the realm of possibilities whatsoever. They could definitely be doing this, right? Another one that's really not out of the realm of possibilities is something like this. Future Gohan and Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So pretty much the exact same thing here, but instead of Trunks, it's Goku, right? This is not out of the realm of possibilities, right? Or it could be a future Gohan and a current Gohan, right? A beast Gohan. How crazy would that be, right? A future Gohan and a beast Gohan. That, that actually would be way cooler than these two scenarios, honestly, right? So that's just an example, right? This is not out of the realm of possibilities. Now, the least possible scenario is, like I said, something like this. This is something we probably will not be seeing, okay? Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, and, you know, I'm not going to say 100% rule it out, but just due to copyright reasons, right? Because this is Dragon Ball Heroes, right? So this is not out of the realm of possibilities. Now, mangas, is that out of the possibilities? I... I don't know, probably, I would say this is far-fetched as well, like a um, Ultra Eagle Vegeta and a, you know, UI Goku, right, MUI Goku, so we, 
we probably won't be getting this, right? <laughs> it's it's way too far. I mean, we, we will be getting this when the characters actually releases in the anime, when the anime gets produced and stuff like that. But in terms of comics, I don't think that's going to be the case, right? Another wild one is Super Saiyan 4, uh, Gogeta Kaioken, right? This is Dragon Ball Heroes related. So due to copyright reasons, I don't think these are a possibility, right? Something more realistic is something like this, right? A Vegito Blue, and then we get a Trunks, right? This is a good possibility right and something like this as well right so in terms of like characters like this is something i would love to see uh but i don't think it's going to be a possible scenario something like this i can kind of see like because it's an existing transformation as well as an existing character so like this is an existing character but not an existing transformation for that character right this it already exists just in a different timeline right so it's pretty much just the exact same character that exists but this character here has his own storyline right which he gets it pre you know actually i would love to see this by the way like how he would go off on frieza i think you know because goku showed mercy on frieza when he went super saiyan i don't think he would show mercy whatsoever so you know once again i do think we will be getting something related to um it's a game's original, perhaps this month or in the very near future because of Ghibli. Ghibli is not going to come out for no reason, right? Uh, but how far can they take game's original? That's what keeps me up at night. How far can they take this tag, right? This tag is a brand new tag. And honestly, I'm not even worried about it being a brand new tag. They could just flip this tag in its head upside down, like within a month or two, honestly. Kind of like what they did with Universe Shrep. When U Universe Shrep first came out, they just literally like took two to three months and then boom, just brought out a, hunt, a ton of overpowered uh you know universe rep characters there's another tag as well they tried it with db but db doesn't have enough meat on it um you know uh it's it's just not that deep i guess and there's not that much hype characters they can make some hype stuff here with games original for sure and by the way you don't see the uh the other zaha or not zaha excuse me the other uh ghibli here this is the same in red but it's not updated but yeah they pretty much just have uh blue and red and by the way they need to update shallot's um tag to games original because i yeah he definitely deserves it i mean he he's like the games original character right he holds the tag but he doesn't dish out the tag with the uh with his z ability right his z ability is just saying although he holds the tag you know it, he definitely needs to uh be able to dish it out with his normal z ability and of course his tags is fluid with uh you know if you put the bardock outfit on then of course you get some uh you know team bardock tags with it but yeah guys i mean i you know this is a good possibility we'll see we'll, we'll see how far they can take this i mean goku and bardock was super it's super cool but in terms of games original of what they could do it would it's sort of called bland in most people's eyes right it's not too creative it's just two base forms boom pairing up together uh with its own storyline so yeah we'll see how far this can go i want you guys comment down below um by the way Dragon Ball Legends literally posted this, uh, uh, you know, the, these last two days. Uh, be ready for a huge reveal at the very start, day number three, and then day number two, same thing. Be ready for a huge reveal right at the start. And uh, it shows off, of course, both LFs for part one and both LFs for part two. This is going to be day one, probably uh, tonight. Um, so, yeah, I'm very curious to see. It's probably going to be a question mark or maybe even the 1% sparkings they have already. Uh, we'll see, but I think GT is pretty much almost guaranteed, especially with Zenkai, Super Saiyan 3, GT, Kid Goku on the, on the, you know, that just came out. So, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe, and I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.